It's about the people she helped. Right. Many numbers as they have said that she helped, she's still helping people today. Alex Green led these early morning risers of the Dorchester County economic community to see the Tubman mural for themselves. Like so many others, it begins with a photo, then a touch of the outstretched hand. I knew by designing these things that this gesture would provoke interaction. And I, I didn't want, uh, and, and a part of my design was, I didn't want the child who was gonna touch the hand to be afraid of the person who was, whose hand they were about to touch. I'm offering this hand to freedom to you, but I'm also offering this hand to anybody to overcome fear. Every day you see new pictures popping up of the families coming out, uh, taking Harriet's hand, connecting uh, with the mural. For about three weeks there, we were just inundated with people from all over and people were coming directly here to see the mural on the wall. There are a couple of things to note. The mural is part of the Harriet Tubman Museum, not a visitor center near the Blackwater Reserve. The founding of this museum predates the National Park. The museum building is located on Ray Street. The mural is on the side in the back. The image is not one of the well-known pictures of the Underground Railroad conductor. At 30, when Harriet Tubman started to do this and was doing the Underground Railroad, she had a rough life. It wasn't etched yet, but in that face on the wall there, there's still an intensity of somebody who's gone through a struggle and said no more, yet at the same time, there's, a, there's an expression of, you know, uh, like a quiet authority, uh, you know, uh, I keep repeating the word compassion, but a compassionate person, you know, that, that is authoritative. You're coming, we're going, and it's my way. But at the same time, you know, it happens to convey to a child, you can come too, you know, don't be afraid. It's like the wow factor. It's just so, it's, it's part of history, and then the mural is just so lifelike. It was the idea of letting the community know that it had a, a, a gold mine, so to speak and letting the uh, elected officials also know that if we put our heads together and try to come up with a theme that would attract people from Route 50 here, why not use Harriet Tubman? Tubman's image on the $20 bill was also likely to bring visitors to the site, but that's been delayed. It has not stopped travelers to the eastern shore from making the stop. In Cambridge, Maryland, I'm Charles Robinson for State Circle.